Capcom announced this week that the original Resident Evil is getting a brand new shiny remake. So in complete history of today, we're rounding up all the Resi games ever made. Albert, it's over to you. Stop it! Don't open that door! The first Resident Evil game arrived on PlayStation in 1996, named Biohazard in Japan. It was originally intended to be a sequel to an earlier Capcom horror game called Sweet Home, and was initially envisioned, rather amazingly, as a first-person shooter. However, technical limitations meant it actually ended up resembling Alone in the Dark, a title described by Guinness World Records as the first ever 3D survival horror game. A director's cut of the first game arrived in 1997. After commercial and critical success came Resident Evil 2 in 1998, a superb follow-up which gave us the definitive video game version of the apocalyptic, zombie-infested city. Development started a month after completion of the original, but it went through many changes, leading to it being scrapped at 90% completion. Thankfully, after serious revision, the progressive Resident Evil 2 delivered. Not least because it featured two separate, interlocking stories told from differing perspectives. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis followed in 1999. Jill Valentine wasn't intended as the original protagonist though, and at one point developers considered letting players control a zombified Brad Vickers. Resi 3 was also intended not to be a numbered entry in the series. Instead, Resident Evil Code Veronica, released in 2000, was developed as a sequel to Resident Evil 2 until the team decided to limit numbered releases to the PlayStation only. An updated version of Code Veronica was later ported to PlayStation 2 and GameCube under the title Code Veronica X. Horrible light gun game Resident Evil Survivor was also released on the PlayStation in the year 2000. After that, development began on the next Resident Evil game, which famously proved to be too radical a departure from the established formula. However, instead of being scrapped entirely, this game eventually became Devil May Cry. Resident Evil Gaiden was an action-adventure game for Game Boy Color, released in 2001. After that came Resident Evil Survivor 2, Code Veronica the same year, another first-person shooter, this time with players controlling Claire Redfield and Steve Burnside. During this time, exclusivity of the primary titles shifted to the GameCube. The beautiful remake of the original Resident Evil game came out in 2002, alongside prequel Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Dead Aim, the fourth light gun game, came to PS2 in 2003, followed by the ambitious but ultimately disappointing online game Resident Evil Outbreak, which featured new characters and multiple scenarios. A sequel, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2, followed in 2004, the online servers for which were turned on again this year. The magnificent Resident Evil 4 arrived in 2005, scrapping zombies in favour of parasites, overhauling the control scheme and revitalising the series. A Nintendo DS port of the original Resident Evil titled Deadly Silence arrived in 2006. This was followed by Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles in 2007. A rail shooter originally released for Wii set around various notable events in the Resident Evil canon. Next came Resident Evil 5 in 2009, notably the first main Resi title not to feature direct involvement from Shinji Mikami. It brought back enduring series hero Chris Redfield and introduced us to Sheva Alomar. Another rail shooter followed the same year. The Dark Side Chronicles was first released on Wii before later coming to PS3 as well, serving as a prequel to Resident Evil 4. In 2011 came the first 3DS Resident Evil, The Mercenaries 3D. This was based on the action-heavy Score Attack minigames which featured in Resi 4 and Resi 5. Controversially, the game didn't allow players to erase their save data, seriously limiting second-hand sales of the title. In 2012, we got another 3DS title, Resident Evil Revelations, which happily recalled the creeping horror of earlier Resi games. An HD version of this was released for PC, PS3, Wii U and Xbox 360 in May 2013. The series then took an inarguable downward turn with Operation Raccoon City, the first Resident Evil game produced by a Western studio. Developed by Six Slant Games, the team behind the multiplayer Socom titles, it was met by indifferent reviews but nevertheless managed commercial success. And that leads us to the most recent new release, Resident Evil 6. This escalated the heavy emphasis on action seen in the previous two games, but still found some limited opportunity for survival horror in the quieter moments. It received a very mixed critical reception, but again sold exceedingly well. 
And that brings us right up to date with the recent news that Capcom is re-releasing the GameCube remake of the original Resident Evil for current consoles, complete with sparkly, updated graphics and the option of an overhauled control scheme. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. And that's all we've got for today. As ever, let us know what your favourite Resi memory is. For me, it's accidentally playing all of Resident Evil 2 without a memory card. And please be sure to check out our complete histories of Jurassic Park and Mortal Kombat by hitting the links on screen.